doesn't mean you like anything any less. It just means you're open-minded. I mean, that can even carry over to like dealing with people. You know, you can deal with black people. You can deal with white people. You can deal with bald people. You can deal with long-haired people. I mean, it's really easy to keep yourself in a little category and say, I'm only going to stay in here because it's safe and it's fine. But then you miss out on what life's all about. It's about individuality and variety. We're not playing for the people who think what we do is noise. We're playing for the people who enjoy it. And if they think it's noise, fine. They don't have to deal with us. That's fine. We don't expect everybody to like us. Because if everybody likes you, obviously you're a homogenized, watered-down version, and we'd rather be immediate and valid in doing what we want. Yeah, we enjoy coming to Europe a lot because uh, it gives us a chance to get out of Phoenix, and it's different over here. I mean, people's attitudes, I think, are a little more open in Europe. And in the U.S., I mean, you look at the U.S. and you think, oh, you know, Latin opportunity, variety, you know. But, I mean, the American attitude is a lot more closed-minded. We're the best. We know everything. You know, I mean, I think our country's great, but, I mean, we still have problems. And the thing I like about Europe, there's a lot of variety. and There's all different types of people, different cultures, different, you know, food, different money. You know, it just gives you something new every day in ways that's good and in ways that's bad, but at least it's different and it's a change. In September, we'll be back here for a European tour. September, October, all over the... we're still together. You never know, though. We could be broken up by then. I could die. We could all, like, die in a plane crash on the way back to the U.S. these things happen. You never really know, but I mean, our plans right now are to uh, come back for a European tour in September, October, so hopefully we'll be playing in Paris somewhere. We'll get to go see the Eiffel Tower and Jim Morrison's grave and all that neat <laughs> stuff. We want to see where Jim Morrison's buried and we want to dig him up and see if it's really him. Hey, what do you think? It's pretty morbid, but I go for it. <laughs> <laughs>
Hi, we are Sepultura from Brazil. Uh, I'm Max, the rhythm guitar. He's Andreas, lead guitar. Igor, drummer. And here comes Paulo, the bass player. And uh, we are here touring in Europe for the second time. We've been here in Paris the first time. And we're just here in a Sacred Rite show to jam and just be back in Paris and see everybody again. underground music, you have no support from the government, and it's really hard to break it. We, we are one of the only bands that really break it out, and we play in America and Europe, but I can say it's very difficult to make something like we're doing, and we're happy in what we're doing, but it's a really hard country to live. proud to be the first South American band, but that, that doesn't give us a big head, you know, or you don't have to be an attitude just because, you know, you're the number one in the country or something. I think we are the same people from five years ago, really simple, really down to earth. We, go, we talk to our friends, we go in the fans, talk to them. That's really good about Sepultura, I guess, and we're never going to change. people they understand what what you're doing I mean you make music for yourself and for the people that are listening to you 
That's why we like to go on a crowd and talk to them. We're not afraid of them. We don't need security because I know they don't, they don't want to kill us. They just want to shake our hands. They just want to be closer than us. And we like that.
Mm-hmm.